Well, you know, I think the bottom line over here is that despite initial criticism that perhaps India never evacuated its students and fast enough, the fact that we've actually got more than 20,000 Indians out of Ukraine is absolutely laudatory. The fact that uh, even these students in Sumi, in an area where there was crossfire taking place, where government officials couldn't uh, go through, where two rounds of uh, of, um, of ceasefire humanitarian corridors were actually violated. And we still persisted, got them out, ensured that as many care students as possible were safe. It is, it is actually a really big achievement. 20,000 plus is not a small number by any means. Mm -hmm. Those who are staying on in Ukraine at this juncture uh, are, for example, citizens who have decided, who, who Indian nationals who have been in that country for several decades. But I think it's very welcome news for those students to get out but what happens to their future, Sonia? Remember, the medical education in Ukraine is absolutely outstanding. Many of them are in their fourth and their fifth year, mm -hmm. about to finish, about to become doctors. What happens to all of that? I mean, their future is so very insecure at this stage. Right. Ten days, over 75 flights, nearly 18,000 Indian students brought back. Operation Ganga to evacuate Indian nationals stuck in war-torn Ukraine, now in its last leg. The government today said around 700 students stranded in the city of Sumi and waiting for evacuation for days are now on their way to Poltova in buses. Sumi mein is samay hamare koi kal raat ko 700 bache the aur maine aaj subah jab control room mein baat ki wo is samay they were already in buses and moving out of Sumi to a place called Poltova, which is safe. Hai. This after India raised the issue of the need of safe passage at the UN Security Council meeting and Prime Minister Modi held discussions with the Russian President and Ukrainian President on ways to begin the stalled evacuation. Urgent demand for safe and uninterrupted passage for all innocent civilians including Indian nationals remaining in Ukraine. Our Prime Minister once again spoke to the leadership of both sides and the need for both parties to return to the path of dialogue and diplomacy. While Operation Ganga has reunited many parents with their children, the family of Karnataka student Naveen, who lost his life during shelling in Kharkiv, is still waiting for his mortal remains. Naveen Vichar Dali, Jai Shankar Uratra Matnar Daga, Marjuri Ali Embam Madi Itti Deve, Ali Shelling Akta Ide, Adnin Takshna Tarvanta Prayat Naglana Nau Marta Ide, Vina Bitti La. मतो एम्बेसी को कुड़ा अदर अवरा समान पटन तो मार्च राज्य कर जाती के टच चली देगे नॉन तो मातन है। It was a mission that saw ministers on the ground supervising evacuations, but while the optics of this operation have been unlike any seen before, there have been questions on whether the government could have begun evacuations earlier. In New Delhi with camera person Sushil Rati, this is Sukirti Devi for NDTV.